This video shows how to create an ODBC connection for use with Krista Reports or other tools like Excel. So start with, just go to your Windows and type in ODBC, and it should come up here as ODBC32. Choose that one and open it. If it does not appear there, then you can find it directly by going into C Windows System 32 and finding this ODBC AD32.exe and running that program. Okay, so we have it running here. And I've got one set up here already. So first of all, to set one up, you need to give your database name that you want to connect to. Typically, it's some sample data of some kind. Uh, so if you want to find out your database names, you inspire itself, go to Tools, Server Administrator, and you'll see the database names that you've got set up. So I'm going to use this one called Sample Data. It is case sensitive. So in the ODBC driver, type it in exactly the same way. Localhost goes in the server name if you are on the server. Otherwise, you put the server name in here. Spire app is the, is the user you'll be using. Give it a description of the database. In my case, it's Inspire Health. Leave SSL mode off. Port should be 55. 432 by default and the password you're going to find that right here in a folder on your server this this must come from the server in C program data spire you'll find spire ini and if you open that up you'll see right in the middle there the database URL the password is is starts right after the colon and goes all the way through to the at symbol just before the at symbol so this portion is the password so copy that and go back to the ODBC connection paste that into here and then press the test button and you should get a connection successful and you click OK and save so now you have that available that with that ODBC name right there to you to use with Crystal Reports and other tools like Excel.